Wow. G'day, Petey here. We're just here testing our new stump tops. Uh, these things here are awesome. Uh, easy to use, easy to put on, and, uh, and but now we're just going to test them today. Okay, so we've just got our stump top in here now with these uh, nice shiny new bolts, right? And uh, there's four of these bolts. It just slips over the stump, and and these bolts are only um, are only 20 millimeters long, and they actually it's a uh, just a special design we've come up with that that pushes in on the stump and and there's an insert in the middle there that it supports against and it just jams it on so so we're going to test how strong these are today uh, do these up and and then we'll go from there so so see that that's come down onto that now and so and we've got a split washer under there to stop it ever coming undone <laughs> Muscles. We got our Level Pro in uh, in here, uh, and uh, you can see um, our, our nuts are done up properly now, right? And these these bolts these bolts don't go all the way in; they're only about 15 millimeters long. They just literally squash in on this, and see that little tab in there? That that tab is actually pushing back on the bottom of this bolt so so it squashes in on it and jams on the steel uh, we we didn't have this tab in here uh, before and uh, and it and it used to slide on the steel but now we put that tab in there squashes in on the steel and that tab's not right up against this face so it doesn't matter how how thick your stump uh, wall is uh, but anyway that's all that's all done and we've got that bolted in easy enough to to do those four bolts up and probably takes about a minute to bolt on a stump top and now it's um, all ready to go. We're all in big red here, we'll just turn it on. Okay, turn on big red and uh, we'll give it a test and see how strong it is at, at, at the upward force. Uh, uh, the, the tech screws in, in other stump tops hold about 400 kilos and depending on the design that you've got they've either got four tech screws holding the the, the stumps in place or they've got eight um, so uh, so tech screws aren't terribly strong um, anyway uh, but let's see how our stump top compares okay so here we are all set up and we'll start jacking this up so it's starting to Lift on that now. 300 kilos, 400. One thousand four hundred. <laughs> Comes up pretty quick. <laughs> Does this let me know, Tang, if it starts moving up at all on that stump, mate? Uh, so we've got two ton on it now. So, so with your 400 kilos per per screw, um, uh, if you had uh, four screws in, four tech screws, um, four fours of 16, you'd have 1,600 kilos. Um, so with eight screws, you'd be at three ton, and and we're we're at two and a half ton, so we're doing pretty good. Um, now the other advantage to this, 2,700, 800, it's getting harder to jack. There we go, so there we go, so three ton. So now the other advantage with, um, with the, with the bolt-on system is that if it, if it failed, if it started to move up like in a cyclone and it's lifting the house up, 
if it fail, it actually drags drags the bolts up through the steel, right? Um, they actually the bolts actually push the steel in and bend the steel in a little bit, and so you literally have to bend all that steel in all the way up to get it off, right? Um, and and our support on the backside comes up with it, so it's it's got to drag it all the way through the steel. Uh, with tech screws, the tech screws are five mil thick. They just work in the in the you know the house movement over time. Work work work, and then they snap. Um, but in, when they fail, they fail totally, and the the shaft of the tech screw is still in the hole. So you can't just put another tech screw in easily, right? Whereas um, whereas this here, uh, uh, you know, if it if it did fail and and slid up a little bit potentially you just loosen the screw put the stump top back down you know pull the house back down again and do the bolt up again um, so let's keep going because we're up to three tonne and that's really good on four bolts and those four bolts they've only got about ten threads on each bolt so um, so it literally only takes you, uh, you know, like uh, seconds to put each bolt in. And so if you're doing that with a, a hand tool, that's fine. If you're doing it with a, a, a rattle gun or, or, or a drill that's got a rattle on it, uh, that would be faster. But look at how impressive that is. That's four ton of upward lift on that. And those, those tech screws, that, that, that would just smash any tech screws on the market. Um, you know, it, it obviously welding it on might be slightly better, but at the same time, welding it on doesn't give you the advantage of of uh, it being quick and easy to install. Oh mate, that's hard to jack that up now. There we go. Can we get up the five ton? Go, you good thing. <laughs> now this is the the 90 by 90 mil stump top, right? Um, but the same size bolts are in the 75, so the 75 will test that and it should perform the same. But there we go, 5 ton, 5 ton of uplift, uh, what a great little stump top. Uh, there's nothing else on the market, as far as I know, that competes with that. And so let's just keep jacking it up until it breaks, just so we know. So 5, five and a half ton. Uh, there we go, five and a half ton. <laughs> I needed to have me wheat fix it this morning. Mate. <laughs> now obviously the results we've got here, if you um you know, I I don't know that we put our bolts in any tighter than what you know you could put them in yourself, but but obviously they need to be tight um, uh, and, and it's a simple matter to go around and check them you know, and, and tighten them up after a cyclone or something if, if, if you thought you needed to but, but they've got split washers on them so I don't think they need to but there we go, six and a half done mate, that is, that is strong oh. <laughs> has it moved at all? no no movement down there yet. All right. Let's uh. Oh yeah. So we oh, we put a little chalk line under there, and it looks like it might have moved a tiny little bit. But but the difference between like putting tech screws in here is that is that if this moves up a little bit, you can easily see it here um, on your stump if you're inspecting them. Uh, and, and if you wanted to pull it back down again, you just undo that, the weight of the house, push it back down again, do, do your bolt back up. Uh, that, that seems to me like an easy, an easy design to use and, and, and it, you know, it's still a lot, lot stronger than a tech screw at that. That's uh, 6.2 tonne and it's, it's just started to move up a tiny little bit there so it'll, it'll probably keep sliding up at that. Um, uh, this is a three mil thick uh, post, this one, isn't it? The, the, 
four mil. Yeah. So this is on a four mil thick um, steel post. Uh, if your post was stronger, then you'll get a better result than this. So if you've got a, four, uh, a five mil thick post, uh, it'll be stronger steel, so you should get a better, a better result. Um, uh, but that's six and a half ton. Let's see whether we've got any more in this, mate. Uh. But that's the thing I like about this, is that, is that when it does fail, it, um, it's still holding that much force. Still holding seven ton of force, and I think seven ton would probably pull the stump out of the ground. <laughs> but, there okay, go, 7.3. Is it sliding up, mate? Okay, so we just let the jack down and uh, and we and we actually undid the the bolts and um, uh, and we we lifted it up with the jack again to, to to lift it off the top but you can see you can see here this is um, uh, three three mil steel four mil four mil yeah sorry this is four mil steel but you can see how much that's bit into those uh, and it's and it's kinked into that that steel so so and then and then when it when it was dragging up it's actually dragging the end of the bolt through the steel because it's bent it's pushed it in a little bit right so uh, uh, so that's how why they're so strong and and the other sides about the same just a couple of little marks there where the bolts um, uh, pushed in so that's what gives it all its strength is is that bolt up design it's uh, quite unique nobody else has got one uh, and and it really holds on and it's got other applications as well so we're using it for the house stumps but if you want to use uh, an idea for this type of design with something other else or some other application where you need to get a really strong fitting to bolt onto a, a normal steel type uh, post or pole or something uh, we're happy to talk with you about manufacturing whatever you need for for that if you want to want to uh, have us use our special fitting for it our special coupling all right okay this is and uh, no damage done Except for the, the big top there that we bent. <laughs> it's seven and a half ton. Okay, so this is actually with our uh, uh, 75 by 75 top uh, with the eight mil steel plate and the four bolts holding it on. And we're just testing how many kilos it gets up to. Um, the, the last one was with the six mil plate and it did 4,300 uh, kilos or something like that. Uh, so, we expect it to do 4,000 kilos. The, the 90 by 90 millimeter one was up to 7,000 kilos, or seven ton. And so, you know, it might, might go that strong. Uh, because we got the chain just hooked around one side of that top plate, it's gonna bend that top plate, but, but that's probably immaterial to our test. Because we're only, we're only wanting to check that um, four bolts, make sure that they're strong enough on the 75 by 75. So three and a half ton, that's pretty good. That's a lot better than tech screws already. Four ton. Four and a half ton. Five ton. There you go. Well, I think I think that's probably as strong as it needs to be. Um, if you've got five ton lifting up on your stumps, uh, your stumps are probably coming out of the ground. Um, but um, uh, but. Uh, 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 but we'll keep going because we want to see how how many town it will handle before it 
something breaks. So five and a half done. That's pretty strong for four bolts, six ton. There you go, six ton. Uh. Is anything uh, sliding up down there? Is it sliding a little bit? Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might have, might have come up a tiny little bit, right? Um, uh, but but those four bolts are holding uh, six ton of pressure uh, uplift on that. So so I think you'd agree that 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 that's really strong, and um, uh, and you know and doing up four bolts is a lot faster than than welding tops on and grinding them off and then painting them. Um, so so and how strong does it need to be? Um, well, when companies sell them with just uh, four tech screws to put them on, or, or eight tech screws to put them on, um, eight tech screws, um, uh, uh, they're only rated at 400 kilos each thereabouts, so, so um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, four eights are uh, 32, um, so 3,200 kilos. So this is almost twice as much as what the tech screws would handle for eight tech screws uh, right here now, and 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 it hasn't it hasn't stopped. So um, now, as the steel bends, a little bit of the pressure comes off the jack. Um, so, but if we just keep going, we might get it up to seven ton yet. Yep. So six and a half ton. I think that's actually. Oh, that's the end of me, Jack. So, so yeah, so 6,700 kilos, but me Jack's actually ran out of, ran out of travel on me Jack. <laughs> so, it's an old Jack. That's as far up as it goes. Um, but anyway, so, so 6,700 kilos um, for four bolts. That's, that's really impressive. So, if you, if you want to, um, uh, if you have an application for our bolt-up system, if you want to um, uh, use our bolt-up system for uh, scaffolding or anything, and, and that, I um, uh, would be happy to talk to you about building whatever your project is with our system. So, uh, uh, all right, let us know. Like, comment, subscribe, share.